Hello, welcome to a new exciting creature tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover the new, very, very exciting feature that has just been added to the creature animation tool called the Life Sync feature. And the first rollout of it is for Unreal Engine with Unity coming very, very soon. So, what is Life Sync? Well, in a nutshell, Life Sync is a new ability for Creature Pro in Windows to allow you to essentially alter your creature animation in the editor and then sync up the changes immediately live in the Unreal Engine editor. <laughs> so you can actually skip the tedious export process. Of course, you'd export it once, but once it's all set up, you can actually live sync between your creature editor and your Unreal Engine editor and make changes super quickly so you can see changes live in your game engine. So it's really exciting. I'm sure you'll like that a lot. And so, of course, the plugin for the Unreal Engine plugin for Creature has been updated, so please go over to this site over here to grab the latest plugin and we'll get started. Okay, so I have a character already set up in Unreal Engine with the Creature plugin. Again, if you're not familiar with the Creature plugin, please go through the previous tutorials on learning how to install, set up, and use the Unreal Engine plugin for Creature to put a character in the scene. All right, It's not that difficult. It's actually really simple. But please, again, watch the previous tutorials to learn about how it's done. Right. So now I have this character in the scene. And if you see that I play it, it does a funny running animation, which is great. OK, so let's say I'm working on this character actively in Unreal Engine and also in the creature animation tool itself. I have it here in the animation tool, you can see here. And if I play it, it plays the very funny running animation. That's all great. OK, so what happens if I'm going to make some changes? Well, traditionally, if I were to make some changes, I would say alter the animation here. If I say alter the arm, right, like so. And then I would have to go into export and click on game engines and then do the whole export process. Right. But now with the new Life Sync feature, you don't have to do that. So as long as your character is actually set up in Unreal Engine, I'm going to be able to Life Sync the changes I made in the animation tool directly into UE4. And you'll see how it's done. It's actually really simple. The whole concept behind Life Sync is to, to make it just work. Okay, I'm trying to make it the workflow as simple as possible so it should just work with a, as few steps as possible. So that's the, the design behind the whole idea of life sync. So okay, so here I'm going to alter the pose of the character a bit. Maybe I also tweak the, the arm and let's see how it looks like. Okay, so I've actually lowered the, the two arms to make it run with a different pose. And let and let's say I'm going to live sync over to Unreal Engine. So again, make sure the first thing you need to make sure is that your creature animation tool is running in the animation mode. That's very important. Okay. So now go back to Unreal Engine and select your character. Now click on the creature mesh component and under the creature tool there's a new panel, the new a new a new category, if you will. There is something called live sync. Just click sync now. Right? And and then it says creature life syncing with game engine. Alright. And once the life syncing is done, you should be able to see the changes. There you go. See? And now you can see the arms have been lowered in the new pose in the original animation tool. And if we go back to Unreal Engine, if I play it again. Look, the, the pose just changed. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so again, we can try that again. It's very easy. Let's go back and change the pose back up. Let's raise the arms now. Let's raise the arms a lot higher. Let's make him raise his arms while running. Let's see how it looks like. OK, that's a bit weird because it's too high. Let's play it again. OK, so a much higher pose. Let's go back to UE4 again. Click on Creature Mesh Component. Click on Sync Now. It's going to sync. Right? And once it's back, you can see the arms are raised. Great. And now if I play it, it's raised. So, very simple stuff, right? All you need to do is make your changes in UE4, set that up, set that up properly, and click on the mesh component, sync now, and it'll sync up your changes very, very quickly in Life Sync. Okay, so the next the next thing you're probably going to ask is that's great if I'm just doing normal export, right? Normal export. But what if I want to do advanced export, which is I actually want to tune the resolution of the export mesh. 
So you're obviously optimizing it. Right now the mesh is too dense for certain devices. So let's say if I tone down the mesh resolution to 80% or, or less, say, say 50%, let's see how low we can go. All right, let's see how it looks like. Okay, doesn't look too bad. But let's say I'm actually tuning the mesh for a lower resolution for uh, devices of lower performance. What do I do? Well, very simple, actually. You just go to the advanced export mode, keep it in this mode, go back to Unreal Engine, and same thing, just click Sync Now, and it will actually sync the tuned version of the mesh for you. So automatically, it will actually sync up depending on which mode you are in Creature. So it's, again, it just works. It's very, very simple. So I hope you enjoy this feature, this new very powerful ability, which allows you to essentially make changes live in the Creature Animation tool and then actually see them, see them reflect in UE4. So this should actually boost your workflow and productivity a lot. I'm expecting it to be extremely useful, especially when you're doing a lot of back and forth, a lot of back and forth between the Creature Animation tool and the Unreal Engine game editor. Right? And of course, a Unity implementation is coming up very soon, so look forward to that, and thanks, thanks for watching.